What is going on guys? Officer O'Leary here, back again at Six Flags Great Adventure. Today we're going to be checking out the new VR on Sumanjaro Drop of Doom, and I'm extremely nervous about this guys, because I have never been on a virtual reality ride. And this is a drop tower, so you don't know when you're going to fall because you have the headset on your head. It's going to be really scary. And there's nobody here really, but a bunch of school buses just pulled up, so I'm going to try to beat those guys in, because they're like just walking up right now. So many kids walking in over there. Ay 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 ay. Okay, let's uh, just grab a spot and run in. So this is something cool that I think they just started doing. They have one day ticket holder lines over here, which are a little bit ridiculous because there's a lot of groups here today. And then you have the process season pass holder lines over here, which aren't too bad at all. So props to Six Flags for uh, dealing with the lines coming into the park because this is making it really easy to get in, especially with the season pass, it's great. Alright, we're in the park now. I'm gonna try to run over toward Sumanjaro to see if it's open for pass holders. The app says that Zoom and Jar is closed, but I think it's open exclusively for pass holders only. I think. And there's a giant quadcopter flying over, a Q line over here. That's crazy. At first I thought it was like a, a plane or something, but no. A giant drone. That's cool. Season pass holder preview. Kindika. All right, get my pass out. Are they checking passes? I don't know. I'm just having out. I got it on my phone too. I just whip it out. Very thorough check. <laughs> <laughs> okay, walking through the queue line. There goes El Toro. <sighs> a, little, a little nervous. I think you are. A little bit. Just because you don't know, you know? <laughs> so, that world's tallest drop tower, after all. Sorry. Blindfolded, kind of. Yeah, yeah, blindfolded, <laughs> exactly. Who knows? I'm like nervous. I'm like. No, no, I haven't had breakfast yet. No. <laughs> Okay. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? <laughs> so 
so he's going to give us a headset and then get to sit down and then put it on, I guess. Okay. Yeah, sit down, somebody will tell you about it. Oh, okay. Cool. Got off Zubinjaro Drop of Doom VR. I thought it was really cool. I was actually really nervous when I first got on because I've never really done a VR ride before, and this was obviously my first one, and it was just extremely terrifying going up. But uh, the drop actually was really exciting. I'm not gonna lie, guys. It actually faces your camera straight down. I'm not gonna spoil the whole thing, you know. I'm sure you could watch POV if you want online, but you, it, it 
faces the camera straight down and then it just drops you and it is scary as hell and it is also extremely exciting my feet were tingling like three quarters of the way up it was it was crazy and I kept thinking on my way up I was like is are, are we up are we up there yet are we gonna drop now are we there yet and then it just kept going up faster and faster and then eventually we dropped and uh, you know hopefully you guys caught my reactions when we actually got back to the bottom I left my camera sitting in a pretty good position facing where I was sitting so yeah, that was crazy. I really wish I could have gotten a POV of it with my glasses, but as you guys know, it's VR, so you can't wear glasses on it. It's it's complicated. You know, you know, there's like two lenses. It wouldn't work. But yeah, I thought it was really cool. I'll probably give it a 9 out of 10, actually. Uh, for my first ever VR experience on a ride, it was pretty awesome. I'm not gonna lie. You guys can probably hear Bizarro in the background. But uh, yeah, for now, I'm actually gonna head over to... Uh, was a Jersey Burger? I can't remember the name of the restaurant. Garden State Grill? Yeah, a place that has the Jersey Burger with the pork roll. Yeah, I'm gonna get a pork roll and cheese sandwich because I haven't had breakfast yet. So, yeah. Woo! That was freaking crazy, even when they're closed. Like, they're massive. What the hell? <laughs> go, everybody. Alright, let's go to Garden State Grill and grab me a nice pork roll and cheese. Something really interesting. I don't know if you guys know that the Skyscreamer has different ride cycles. Um, I already knew this because I obviously worked the ride back in 2012 when it opened, but yeah, the ride has different ride cycles, and I believe they're running it on Cycle 2 right now. I don't know. I always get the cycles confused. There's three of them, I believe, maybe four cycles. But yeah, it's running a different cycle right now, which is kind of cool. It's all empty, so I don't know what the deal is. I guess they're just testing it right now, but I don't have time to actually ride it. I have to leave, like, right now. It's 11.27 or 11.28, and uh, yeah, I have work in an hour, so I gotta leave. So, yeah, right. really wish I could've gotten on the Skyscreamer when I turned in the cycle. I think I've already ridden it in this one, though. I don't, I don't remember. I rode it in one of the other cycles. It, like, flies really low, close to the trees. It's so cool. Yeah, look, guys. See how it goes way lower than half the power? Look at it. Oh, I love that. Swinging so close to the trees. And it goes all the way back up here. Oh, that's weird. Look, it's slowing down as it's going up. <laughs> what? I don't think I've ever seen this cycle before. That's so weird. Go Skyscreamer. Must be a new cycle or something. I don't know. Super cool. I think that's it. All right, it's time to leave the park now because I have to go to work, which sort of sucks. Uh, sorry for the short vlog. I really just came here just to ride uh, Zoom and Jaro just to get on that VR experience. It was crazy. Like, I cannot believe how intense that ride really was with the headset on. It was just like so, I don't even know, just craziness. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I know I couldn't take you guys along for the ride, but you know, again, it was a VR headset. I can't wear the glasses through a VR headset. It wouldn't work right. Uh, but yeah, I gotta go to work. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. Peace out.